Hello and welcome. My name is Reef, and today I'll be showing you guys the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders Pack, or rather SUS for short, for Minecraft. I installed it on the DNS Text um, instance of the game, so my frame rate is taking a bit of a hit. Um, but it looks amazing. Look just how fucking shiny the water is. The lighting in this game is a lot better. My render distance is set to short. Uh, apparently that's the ideal for this. Shadows are a lot more realistic. I mean, just look how bright that sun is. It's amazing. Well, this is one of our tiny redwood trees. The reason I'm flying is because, as always, I am a bat. I am the Batman. There's a few issues I've run in, or found rather, with using the shader pack, and it is very, very, very computer intensive, hardware intensive. I mean, I have a core Intel Core i5 overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, with 16 gigabytes, gigabytes of RAM. A Gainward GTX 570 Golden Sample goes like Hell Edition, and I'm getting maybe in the region of 20 frames per second currently as things are while recording but as you can see the grass is nice and weaving if I go down too far below I start getting reflections from the ground which I think is a bug I'm not too sure about that the glowstone looks a lot better and one of the cool features of the thing with the way it fixes the shading and lighting and all that just let me just show you guys this is I find this amazing let me just get in. You can see how the sun gets in through the windows and then stops over there. The difference between natural light and torchlight. Torchlight gives everything it gives everything a nice kind of ambiance to this room. And look how great that glowstone looks. Um, as you can see it kind of works with most of the DNS tech pack items, so that's still good to know. Oh, that lava in the liquid ducts is sure is glowing. Oh, let's see, there's just nothing up here to stop the light, so it takes a while for the game to realize what's going on. I had to disable clouds, that's just to Nutura once, as it does bring about a lot of sh um, shadow problems. All the water is. Oh, reflects the leaves in the trees move about as you guys can see I think there's also if you break blocks a bit of a new an an animation but it's a bunch of small details so what do you guys think do you guys want me to do the rest of my Minecraft series using this shader pack or do you guys still prefer the old Optifine one which runs a bit faster but doesn't look nearly as good I mean it's all the small things but I like it anyway thank you guys for watching I will put a link to the to where you guys can get hold of the shader pack in the description and I will see you guys again next time bye bye